What's good, BFM? This is Big Tone coming at you again with Big Tone Productions Beats and Feasts. It's time for another cooking video today. Today we're going to revisit something I've done before. We're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to do something called house fried rice. If you go to your favorite Chinese takeout menu, they usually have a house fried rice, which generally means they have everything in it. It could mean shrimp, it could mean pork, it could mean all the above. But today we're going to do ham, chicken, and shrimp. So we're going to call it our house fried rice. And guys, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Make sure you share the video. And let's get started with some house fried rice. The ingredients are as follows. Um, basically, we got to have the main character is our rice. All right, and I'll get into cooking the rice here in just a moment, but you can see my white rice is on my little sheet pan. I'm getting it to dry out. Um, so we got some chicken here. This is one breast of chicken cut up. I got a few uh, small, already pre-cooked shrimp. I got my ham back here, ham cubes. And I got a little bit of carrot. This is one whole onion diced. I got four eggs. And then for my um, spices, and um, I got some garlic here, minced garlic, some sesame seed oil, soy sauce, my pink Himalayan sea salt, of course, black pepper and this one is optional you don't have to put it in but I like the flavor and if you like Thai food that kind of gives it that Thai flavor this is fish sauce so that's all the ingredients guys so speaking about the rice as you can see I got my rice is pre-cooked so the best fried rice for any type of fried rice dish or the best rice for any type of fried rice dish is usually the day old rice but to expedite that process a little bit, if you take your rice, you cook it, and I'm using jasmine rice, and you spread it on a pan like I have it here, and you put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours, maybe an hour, get it nice and cool, that kind of expedites that, pro that progress of uh, having day old fried rice. Right, so we're over here at the grill. So if you guys don't know about my grill, it's my still made grill from Still Made USA. Um, I love this investment. If you guys want to pick one up, just click on the link in my description. It'll be the first link down below. Um, or you can just look it up from what I put on the screen here in front of you. But uh, this thing rarely leaves my uh, stovetop, but it turns your stovetop into a, a flat top in a matter of seconds. And as you can see today, and I've done other videos, I'm cooking my fried rice right on it, just like a, like kind of like a hibachi style. So let's get started with that. But if you want one, click on the link. It'll take you over, give you 10% off, guys. So let's get started on this. First thing I'm going to throw on the grill, and I'm going to put them up here, is my onion. And to that onion, I'm just going to put my carrot on there as well. And we're just going to sear those off, brown them down real good. Basically, just gonna sit, let them sit there and forget them for a minute. Alright, next thing we're gonna throw on here is my chicken. I'm gonna put my chicken down here. Now, also, what's very important about your chicken is the way that you cut it. I've got mine cut in very thin slices, and I've cut them on a bias, as you can see it here. That allows it to cook very fast, and it keeps it nice and tender. And even though my ham is pre-cooked, I'm going to put it on here and brown it just a little bit. I got a little bit of pre-cooked ham. I bought that from the store. I just not fresh ham. So we're going to put that on back here and just brown it up just a little bit. So on my chicken, once the one side gets a little bit white, I'm gonna sprinkle just a tad bit of sesame seed oil on here. You don't want a lot. Just a little bit. It gives it that, that richness and that earthy flavor to your to your food. That Asian flavor if you have, you know, if you go to an Asian restaurant and you taste that, you don't know exactly what it is, it's usually your sesame seed oil.
Now I'm going to throw some seasoning on my, my uh, chicken. A little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. A little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to throw a little bit of soy sauce on there just to get them to marinate in it a little bit. There we go. Oh boy, that's looking good. Smells good too. Toss my ham around just a little bit. There we go. I'm starting to get some of that brownness on it. And we're going to do the same thing to my onions and carrots. Season them up just a little bit, salt and pepper. And this is what I love about this thing, man. You don't have to be in a restaurant to work on a grill. Just a little bit of an investment. You got your own grill at home. You see my onions starting to turn a little bit translucent. So we're going to leave that on for just a little bit longer. And we're going to move my um, ham here to the middle. And that's what another thing I like about this thing. Is that, of course, you got the four eyes where you cook the most. But you can move it to the middle, keep it warm, and you don't have to worry about it burning. So I got my chicken here frying up. Oh, and it's almost done. Ooh, Lord, it smells good. All right, just a little bit longer on that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my rice here. You can see I got my uh, rice on the grill. So I'm going to let that sit for just a second. And to my onions and my um, carrots, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of garlic here. let that cook down. My goal is to get the rice nice and dry real quick before I start adding liquids to it. Oh my chicken is nice. Woo, very nice. Alright, so my rice has been on for a little bit. I'm gonna start adding some soy sauce here. So I think one of the larger misconceptions of fried rice is that you got to have a bucket of soy sauce. You really don't. You can just add a little bit and then taste it and see where you're going with it. Just that little bit of soy sauce that I added brought the color nice and brown. And of course, there's a few places that are still white, but I can add some more here in just a moment. We got to mix this up a little bit. All right. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrots and onions and garlic over here to it. We're gonna mix that up real good. And I'm gonna let it sit there while I get my eggs together. And I'm gonna grab my eggs and put them on. So what do they do at the, the, the Asian restaurant? What do they call this? Egg roll. <laughs> anyway. It's one egg. Two eggs. And 
there's my third, fourth egg. Yeah, I got a little shell in there. We're going to take that out real quick, fast, like. And while we're waiting, I'm going to add just a little bit more soy sauce. And we're going to add a pinch, a little bit more than a pinch, of sesame seed oil. And we're going to add, we're going to season that with a little salt and pepper here. Let's mix this soy sauce and sesame seed oil up in here. All right, so down here we're going to throw my shrimp on. Now shrimp doesn't take very long, so we're just going to put a little bit on here, season it up. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt and we're going to throw a little bit of soy sauce here on the uh, shrimp as they cook up and a little bit of the sesame seed oil just a tad bit not very much and we're going to let the shrimp cook there I'm turning it up just a little bit let those cook real nicely. Right, so I added my eggs over here to my fried rice. I'm mixing that up in there real nice and I'm going to go ahead and throw my chicken in with the mix. Ah, oh, look at that guys. Ooh, I wish you could smell it. Wish you could smell it. All right, let me reach over here and grab my ham right on top. And I'm going to let my shrimp cook just for a tad bit. In the meantime, I'm going to go here and grab a little bit of fish sauce. Now, if you guys are worried about fish sauce, you, you always taste it when you cook, when you taste Chinese food. You just may not taste it at, at all. You don't taste the fish flavor. So I'm not putting enough to taste it. It just gives a nice umami type flavor to it. What you don't know won't hurt you. Alright. Put my shrimp over here. I'm gonna get a little bit more color on that before I add that to my mixture of fried rice. We're gonna mix that up and I'm gonna taste it real quick. See what other seasoning I need to put in it. So one thing I want you guys to catch from any of my videos, make sure you taste your food. Because if you don't want to eat it, why are you gonna save it, serve it to anyone? Let me get a little taste here. Right on point. Although I'm gonna put a little bit more soy sauce on it. There we go. My shrimp over here, and I'm adding those to the mix now. Now that's fried rice. Hey, you give me a few minutes, I'm gonna plate this up, make a nice little presentation for you. I'll be back in a minute. House fried rice with chicken, ham, and shrimp. Didn't take very long, so you need to go pick you up one of those 
Still Made USA Grills. Um, and just use my link and you'll get the 10% off. But you guys know exactly what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that bite. House fried rice. But you know I'm waiting for that bite here. And by the way, you need to pick you up one of those Still Made USA Grills. It's a great investment. It never leaves my stove, stove top. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. It might leave, leave my stove top maybe once a month. But I cook everything on it. So go pick it up. Hit the link in the description, the very first link. It'll take you right over there. You can check it out. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this bite here. Oh, let me get a little bit of everything. Chicken and shrimp. Mmm, let me get a little ham. Perfection on our plate. Why would you ever go out and order this? You can do this right at home. You don't even need a still made USA grill. You can do this right in the skillet. But hey guys, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Make sure you share the video guys. And hey, this has been Tone signing off. Peace.